Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of RNK Distributing, and I'm going to welcome you to the project of the week. Well, I've been working a lot with very large applique letters, and I found some interesting functions, and I want to show you why there's a couple of ways to do it and why you would do it one way or the other. So let's actually start in Floriani Total Control U. Now I'm going to come up to my text tool. I'm going to left mouse click and I'm going to select circle text. And I'm going to left mouse click on screen to activate that. And now you notice in my properties box I've got, whoops, I've deselected the text so I don't have anything anymore. Okay, here we go. Now you can see in my properties box I've got two places for text, the upper and lower, and I can pick what I want to do. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to type in Floriani is great. And on the bottom line, I'm going to put Kathy said so. Now from there, I'm going to look in my applique fonts and I'm going to pick font number three. Doesn't matter, it's just the one I picked. I'm going to make that about two inches tall and I'm going to apply that by left mouse clicking on the word apply. That's going to take a second here. Now it looks crazy, it looks like a mess, but I'm going to zoom out here and I'm going to make sure I don't have my control points, I don't know how I lost them, but now notice I went back to the T. You notice I didn't have all these blue diamonds, I didn't have all the black circles, so what I did is I went right back to the text tool, touched the T and the circle, and it brought them all back. So if you ever lose your control points, that's how you regain them. Now there is a blue circle right here. Now what this is, is this is the rotate tool. But this will also change our radius for us. So I'm going to hold down my left mouse key and I'm going to drag straight up. And see as my radius get big, gets bigger, of course my letters got untangled, so to speak. So now here we are. I'm going to fit this to screen. And I could rotate this to make sure I liked how it was. You know, you get the idea. Now once it's here, I'm going to left mouse click away. I'm just going to click off of it, deselect it. Now I want you to notice something. Everything is a different color. Now there's a reason for that and I'm going to close out my properties by left mouse clicking on the upper left hand corner so you can see the, set, the uh, sequence view very large. So I'm going to left mouse click on the plus sign and then you see the text and I'm going to plus on that. So I want you to see what it's done. Each letter is individual. It's treated each letter as a separate piece of embroidery. So what's going to happen here is it's going to put down a tack down, a placement, and a finish. So now we're going to put our placement line, stick our letter down. We're going to do our tack down, our finish, our placement. So you get the idea. Now this is very labor intensive because this is an applique alphabet, so I'm putting down the applique fabric. Now this is done this way specifically because Floriani Total Control is about embroidery. So now the reason it does this is if I was doing this on a towel or a knit or a fleece, what would happen is if I put down all my placement lines, put all my letters down and then finished them off, the pull compensation in the F could pull the L off a little bit. So if I already had all the placement lines done, then when I put my tack down and finish, they would not match where I'd stuck all my fabric down. So there's a reason why the software does it this way. Now, if you were working on a stable fabric, let's say we're working on a, um, a stable cotton, we're, we're working on a nice stable woven that's, you know, stabilized well and everything. Say I was doing a banner, I was doing a large piece, I was doing flags, just anything that you're going to have that's very stable. This would drive me nuts on a stable fabric. Now on a fabric that's going to have push and pull and give and take, I, this is going to make sure that everything lines up perfectly. But Floriani does not have the ability in it 
to do what I'm doing exactly, arcing the lettering and everything, in artwork. Because I could come in here and I could get a true type font, but it doesn't have the circle. It only does straight font. So what I'm going to do is, in conjunction, I'm going to come down and I'm going to bring up Craft and Cut. This is Selects Craft and Cut software. Now this is all about digital cutting. So this isn't really designed around embroidery. It's around, designed around a digital cutter. You might want to cut vinyl. You might want to cut fabric. You might want to do cardstock, felt. There's a million things you can cut, but this is all designed to work with the cutter. Now, yes, I can bring a design in because I might want to bring in an embroidery design and put rhinestones around the heart in it because this also does rhinestones because rhinestones are about cutting. They're all about the digital cutter. And so because this is about digital cutting, when I come in and get this text tool, left mouse click and select the circle text, it's actually going to bring in, when I left mouse click on screen, it's bringing in true type fonts. So these are vector artwork, so they're perfect to be turned into something. So what I'm going to do up here is I'm going to type in Floriani is great and I'm going to put right here, well I'm going to spell it correctly, how's that? I'll spell it correctly for you. Is great and here I'm going to put Kathy said so. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to select this applique three alphabet. Same alphabet I used with the other in the Floriani total control. Now I'm going to decide how tall do I want them. Well I made those two inches tall so let's just go with the same program here. So I said make these two inches tall and again I'm going to left mouse click on apply. So while this does that, now again we've got the nightmare look. So we're going to zoom out. I'm going to zoom out again and now I'm going to grab that same blue circle because see everything's consistent between all of our programs as far as how icons work, how the stuff works, it's all the same. It may have a different function as this is for a cutter versus this is for embroidery. So now that I have straightened this out, now what I would do is I would go ahead and I would save this as a cut file. So I'm going to say file, I'm going to file and I'm going to export artwork because remember we save designs we export artwork. I'm going to export artwork and I'm going to save this as Floriani is great and save. Now I have this artwork saved on my desktop. Yes, of course I practiced this so it was already on the desktop. So now I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to come back to my total control. So now what I'm going to do, let's open that properties box back up so we have everything. And all I did to do that is this icon right here is my properties icon. So when I close my properties box so I can see my sequence view better, the only thing I need to do to bring it back is left mouse click on the properties box and that will show back up for us. Now I'm going to go ahead and say file and I'm going to import artwork because remember we export and import artwork. So I'm going to grab Floriani is great. Now I've already cut all my fabric. I sent that other to a cutting file. I ironed my fabric onto applique wonder or apple stick and I ran it through my digital cutter so all my letters are cut out. Now that I've got this and this is artwork, now I can use my one click wonders. I'm going to come right down here to the bottom and say turn this artwork into an applique with a simple left mouse click. Now here's the difference. This is now the same applique that we had here. Everything's identical. The difference being is since I brought in artwork that was one piece, watch what happens now. These are all my placement lines. So if I'm using a very stable fabric, again, that's your key, I'm going to stick all my letters down at once. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to tack them all down. 
and then I'm going to go ahead and finish the applique. And again, with the applique, it doesn't matter if we created it from artwork or we made it in here. We could come in and we could change whether we wanted it to be a blanket stitch, a motif stitch versus a satin. You can still change your density. All that is the same. The difference here is my application. Am I doing something that's not as stable? It's not, it might be a little stretchy, a towel, all that type stuff. I'm going to do it this way to make sure that if there's any little pull, my letters aren't pulled off. They will all look great. But if I'm doing very stable fabric, I can stick all my letters down at once. So I hope you enjoyed this little applique lesson. I came across this and I was real thrilled to see I could do it both ways by utilizing our Select Craft and Cut software. You do have true type fonts in here, but the difference is I don't have the ability to arc it, make it vertical, do paths where in my Craft and Cut I am going to have all the text options. I can do circle, I could do vertical, I could put it on a path with the artwork, then bring it over and make one applique that's got one set of placement lines tacked down and finished. So I look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great week. And visit me in Wichita, Kansas this week. I'll be there teaching a hands-on class. So I'd love to see you. Bye-bye.